Okay, so this is the second part of double angle formulas, and in this we're going to do one proof, talk about the tangent double angle formula, and then just simplify one problem and we're done. So this is going to be a five or six minute little, little clip here. Not too difficult. In the first one, we're going to prove that tangent of x is equal to 1 minus cosine of 2x over sine of 2x. In order to figure out the strategy that we're going to use, I would like for you to just kind of think about what is it that we're going to want in the end? Because obviously, the more difficult side or the more complicated side, the ugliest side is going to be the right side. But what are we going to want in tan x? So tan x, I need to remember that this is going to be sine x over cosine x. And so when I'm developing my strategy, what I'm going to look at is this. I'm going to look at the top and the bottom. And I notice that I've got a 2x and a 2x. Cosine double angle formula has two has three different forms. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, what do I want on top? Well, I want to end up with sine on top. So what I am going to do is I'm going to pick the form that has sine on top. So pick the form with sine x on top. Okay? So I'm going to pick the form with sine of x on top. And so what that's going to give me is this. I'm really going to have 1 minus 1 minus 2 sine squared x on top. And on the bottom, I'm going to expand this to be 2 sine x cosine x. Let me rewrite. So this is 1 minus 1. So this is going to be 0 minus a minus 2 sine squared x over 2 sine x cosine x. I sidestep to get 2 sine squared x over 2 sine x cosine x. You should see it coming together pretty beautifully now. The twos cancel. One of the sines up top cancels with the sine on the bottom. So I'm left with sine of x over cosine of x, which is equal to tangent, which is equal to tangent of x. Done. Okay? Simply a simplification of a double angle formula. So when I move down here to tangent, the tangent of 2a is going to give me And that's all there is to it, because this it comes from the tangent of a plus a. And when I have my addition, angle addition formula, this is going to be equal to tangent of a plus tangent of a over 1 minus tangent of a times tangent of a. So it's very easy to see where we get this formula because it just simply ends up to tangent of a over 1 minus tangent squared a. Okay, so this is my formula here. So when I step down here, I notice that this looks exactly like it, but a is equal to 15. So I'm going to revert back to say that this is really equal to tangent of 2 times 15, which is equal to the tangent of 30 which is equal to 1 over the square root of 3 because it's going to be 1 half over square root of 3 over 2 which is 1 over square root of 3. So I stepped backwards into this formula to understand that that's tangent of a plus a. Well, that'd be 15 plus 15, which is 30. Okay, guys? That's the tangent formula for the double angle. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.